I look so oily. I'm sorry. I just did all my skincare. But I haven't filmed in forever, so welcome to this. Um, I'm going to be recreating looks I've seen on TikTok for a week. Hopefully, it's Monday, and I was like, I should make it like a week thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna be recreating TikTok looks for a week. Um, and this is 100% inspired by Miss Rachel Cantu. She just posted a video of her recreating like celebrity makeup looks. So I'm stealing that, but making it TikTok. So for today, I'm going to be doing this look by Maddie. Maddie with two eyes XXX. Um, this is her look. And her makeup is so good. <laughs> like, so good. And I've never really done a look like this before, so I'm gonna try. This is what this whole video is gonna be, like me trying. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows and I've primed my eyes. Um, so I <laughs> I did like the soap brow and I've tried it so many times and all the times I've tried it, I've never really liked it, but this time it doesn't look that bad. It just, I just have a lot of eyebrow and it looks weird, but I also have no other makeup on my face, so I'm gonna be using the James Charles palette because this is the, basically the only palette I use whenever I do colorful looks like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by using this pink shade right here in the corner. It's called Skip. It's just a hot pink shade. I'm gonna use this color and place it right in the inner of my eye. Bring it kind of high. I'm gonna bring it kind of high. So I'm placing it there and I'm blending it up to my eyebrow and I'm also only bringing it to like one third of my brow. Is that one third? I don't know, I'm not good at fractions. But yeah, I'm gonna be placing that there and blending. Also, I'm so sorry about how dirty this mirror is. I've had this mirror since I was like eight. <laughs> So it's so dirty, I'm so sorry. I just had to say that because every single time I film a video of me doing my makeup and I pull this mirror up, I never say anything. And I just feel like I have to say something because if I don't, y'all are probably gonna be like, oh, so I'm gonna beat you to it. This mirror is nasty, I'm so sorry. I'm going to take the shade called Love That. And it's kind of like a mix of pink and purple and it's this shade right here. And I'm gonna be putting that a little bit below where we place the pink. Just add some depth. So it looks like I have a black eye. Um, now I'm gonna take the darkest purple called Escape. This one. And I'm going to put basically where I put that last shade so we can really build it up. I'm going to be cutting my crease now. I'm just using the ColourPop no filter concealer. Uh, I'm just going to be taking it on the super flat brush and then cutting the crease. I think I took it in a little bit too far, but I can always just erase, erase it with concealer. Okay, so once again, I'm sorry for the noise. Hopefully y'all can't, can't hear it, but look at this. This line is so crisp. I'm so happy. Okay, so basically um, once I was done carving it out, I just went ahead and put more concealer over my lid because it, the concealer was like mixing in with the eyeshadow. Um, and then I set my lid and like really close up to that line with airspun powder. And yeah, now I'm ready to go to the next part, which is the like blown out part. I go back in into the hot pink shade and put it on my lid and then like wing it out i'm gonna take the lighter purple shade in the palette this one and it's called single and i'm gonna do the same thing with the pink um but i'm not gonna drag it out as far as the pink i'm gonna like probably cut it short right here so now i'm going in with the darkest purple shade escape and i'm taking it on the smaller brush that i used for my inner corner and I'm really focusing it on my lid and then dragging it out because um, that's what it looks like in the picture that I'm looking at. 
she has more purple on the lid so just gonna do that and it's also adding more dimension to it so it doesn't just look like pink now it looks like pink and purple blended together winged so now it's time to tackle like the, the blue sparkly part so for the blue I'm going to take the shade hello in the James Charles palette and it's like I'd say it's like a pretty close match to that and I'm just gonna lay that down so when I do put like the glitter on top it's it has like a blue base so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna place it right pretty close to my um, lash line and a little bit up mine does not look like hers <laughs> okay I'm gonna actually dip into the Kathleen Lights X Colourpop palette, the So Jaded palette, and I'm gonna use the shade Aquamarine because it's a little bit lighter than that blue. And I'm gonna place that at the same place where I put the blue. Let's see. Now I'm gonna take a blending brush, like the small brush, this, this one, and try to blend the blue and the purple together so it doesn't look like a harsh line. Now I'm gonna place the glitter, kind of. So I'm using the NYX Glitter Glue. I lost a tap to it, and so it's super... From the same So Jaded palette, I'm gonna use the shade Opal. I'm just gonna put this right where I put the blue. Um, yeah, so this is one I complete. When I come back, I'm gonna have my other eye done and everything cleaned up, and then we can go ahead and start on the face. But. So what it looks like it looks good i mean it obviously doesn't look like hers because we have different eye shapes and her talent is not to negate my own talent but she knows what she's doing i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye stop talking listen to hamilton I'll be right back. i'm back with both eyes done they don't look the same i tried really hard to like match everything but my eyes are uneven I can only do so much so I just wiped away all of the excess glitter and fallout and everything from my face and I'm about to do my face so when I put this on it's gonna look terrible it's gonna look like I have peanut butter on my face it's going to look like I have peanut butter on my face but it's fine. so I finished my face <laughs> uh, my boyfriend called me and I just kept doing my makeup because I was like, I ran a dark purple from the James Charles palette on my lower lash line to finish the look. And I also took, which I never do, I took the NYX lip liner in the shade Nebula and I put it on my waterline. I never line my waterline, but I think it looks so good. So Lately for lips, I've just been taking a shade from the Morphe 35OM palette. I take... This shade, line my lips with it. On top, I use the color pop um, lipstick in the shade Quickie. I'm just gonna, might as well go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. Um, I'm gonna do lashes, highlight, and be back for the final look, the final reveal. But I finished. I've been filming for three hours. <sighs> Um, for lashes, I honestly don't think this is correct because um, I'm pretty sure I lost the box, but I had them in these Ardell Foam Ink 817. They're really small lashes, like these are the tiniest lashes I have, um, and I'm pretty sure they're all Ardell, um, but I apologize because I don't really know the name of them. I brought my inner corner nervous day, but so this is the look of day one this is monday's look i love it like this eye is kind of wonky but this eye uh once again inspired by maddie with two eyes xxx shout out to her she's so talented yeah i'll leave her link down below or i'll leave her at down below so y'all can check her out on tiktok this is it look one so i didn't film an outro because i was originally just gonna put all of this week's look into one video but then i realized that video would be super long so i'm gonna post a video every day for the next five days hopefully so this was the first video 
thank y'all for watching hopefully y'all watch my next video and peace out